Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, I wanna be honest right up front, we had recorded a whole intro to this video <laughs> way this morning. It's been, it is now uh, almost five o'clock. <laughs> we have the boys here. Uh, we went and did a whole bunch of stuff today for Kathy's birthday. And I went through and looked at the footage of, of us talking in between and it was just too much wind. It was just wasn't really usable. So we figured we were gonna come here anyway. So we were gonna reshoot the things that we said in between, but we're gonna talk about everything that we've done today. So first off, happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, and what did we do today? So. Um, well, first off, everyone should guess in the comments how old Kathy is. Ooh, guess in the comments. <laughs> um, what was the question? What did we do what today? Do, yeah, what <laughs> okay. have we done today? What? I just made a really big sale. You did? <laughs> you just literally, got a big sale? Literally now. Well, oh. they haven't paid yet. $97? Well, look at that. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, okay, what did we do today? <laughs> All right, we started out by going to Plato's to yeah. drop off a bin of stuff that we showed in one of these recent hauls. I was going to go to Uptown Cheapskate, but Plato's had a few things I kind of knew I wanted to yeah. buy, so like I wanted to go there first. So we went there, um, got a couple of shoes. I'll show you those. Do you want me to say everything now? Like, yeah, I guess just a quick run, rundown. Run so we went to <laughs> we went to Play-Doh's, got some things. We'll share some that things. in a moment. And then I wanted to go to Once Upon a Child, even though I wasn't taking a bin today. I knew I had like I had a thousand points on my account, and at Once Upon a Child, every like three hundred points is essentially like ten dollars free. Yeah. Um, it's not even like ten dollars off of twenty or whatever. It's just ten straight dollars. You can buy anything if it's only ten dollars. It's free. So. I knew I had that, so I was like, well, it's kind of on the way. I wanted to go to Bins today, so mm -hmm. Play-Doh's, Once Upon a Child, it's like a little, you know, a route. It's all in the <laughs> same yeah. area. You so got your like, route. Yeah. You know, I'll make probably 20, 30 bucks. I'm sure I could find a pair of shoes to flip for that for free, which I did, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we went to Bins. We went to the Bins. Yeah. Got to shop a little bit. About an hour and a half there. And so we'll show you that. That's a whole bag full of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And then I figured we'd end off the day with coming here. We already put that tote away of stuff inventory mm -hmm. and then pulling out today's sales so that I can ship them first thing tomorrow, which is Friday. So that was a quick rundown of the day. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, now we have the boys. We're going to go to Red Robin because they're one of the places that sends a free birthday. <laughs> going to go to Red Robin, maybe try to sneak in a couple crumble cookies a little bit later. And we have oh, Kathy's right. live. We're going <laughs> to just... just I don't know. Are you? You're not working on your live, are you? We're just gonna I hang out. I did not get any. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna work. We're probably just gonna <laughs> hang out, and you know, sing happy birthday a hundred times. Uh, no, we're not. Or I'll just disappear <laughs> if we do that. <laughs> it would only be me singing, so I wouldn't blame you. So, um, but yeah, that's that's our whole day. Our whole day. So, yeah, let's. Well, what did you find it? Yeah, so what did you find at Play Doh's? Well, yeah. So first off, we took a tote, a smaller one than that. Um, they took twelve items and gave us forty. $8.51, so about $4 per item. Uh, this was all basic stuff, like the mall brand stuff. They took that hat, you know, mm -hmm. for example, that really colorful LRG shirt, some American Eagle things. So, like, literally nothing I could sell for more than maybe $20 on my own. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so yeah, forty eight fifty one is what they gave me. I ended up buying these Doc Martens with that credit. So the Doc Martens, they had priced at $60. Um, so 60 minus 48, that leaves $12. I did have a five off 10. I think that was like a birthday coupon cause it said it expired today. So mm -hmm. minus five more dollars off that. So I essentially got these Doc Martens for say, maybe like seven bucks plus, plus what I had into the 12 items, which I would say is maybe 12 to $15. Okay. Um, so let's say these Doc Martens cost me like 20, 20 to 25 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And how much do you um, think those will sell I think for? These, so these retail for 160 and they essentially look new. Like yeah, those look locks. so new. Um, so I'm, I think I can get 100 maybe a, a tiny bit more, maybe up to 120 We'll see. Okay. But I'm pretty confident around the $100 mark on those. So that's off to a good start. Yeah. And so, like, you know, you never know what they're going to give you. So I'm shopping around the store. I already kind of found these other things before I found those. Mm -hmm. So I was going to just get these, but I really wanted those. <laughs> because those usually sell quickly. Yeah. Um, so I just paid for these cash. Yeah. Um, so they these, were good enough flips, right? I think so. I mean, at least I like to list them. So these were Uggs. Um, 25 bucks, not bad. These basically look new. They still have the Ugg Pure sticker yeah. on them. You can tell they haven't been walked in or anything. You know, there wasn't a ton of this model listed on eBay at all. On Posh, I saw some sold around 
new with box one's over 100, but like, I don't have the box obviously. Yeah. So I'm gonna say probably just excellent condition. I'm hoping for 70 to 80, but if I could double my money, I'd also be happy, which would be about probably around $60 sale minus okay. fees. So I think I can double my money on those and I'm happy to list them. So, and then these are PF flyers. These are pretty neat. Which, yeah, if you, Sandlot was one of my favorite movies as a kid, so if yep. you've never seen that, you probably have no idea what these shoes are. <laughs> um, but these are from that movie, and I knew that um, the black ones are the ones that they have in the movie. I actually have a pair listed. I just noticed them right here before we started. Yeah. These ones have been listed a while, but they're teal. Mm -hmm. So the black ones are the ones that they wear in the movie, and... Um, I was looking up comps in Play-Dohs and I saw some, these are not in amazing condition. They're a little bit dirty and worn down, but I screenshotted the comp for you to put here, but um, you know, somewhere like 80, 90 bucks. Yeah. Um, these are also men's eight or women's nine and a half. Those ones I think are men's 10, 11, 12 ish sizes. So a little bit of a better size, but I think I can, you know, at least get 40. So I paid 15, Okay. hoping for 40. I might be able to get a little more. I did sort, to solds but also unsold and this size i think the cheapest one listed was like 50 or 60 yeah. so if i like maybe just undercut them a tiny bit i can probably get a quick sale at least yeah um so hopefully yeah those do well but yeah yeah let me know if you guys seen sam though that was definitely yeah th those movie. that those are the shoes from that infamous mm -hmm. scene where uh benny i can't remember his name yeah. Is it Benny? He sure. jumps over the fence to get the ball from the this, beast, yeah. and he runs through town running away from the big dog. So that's he put those on because you know they make him <laughs> run really fast. So right. I don't think it really works that way, but we'll the see. The just paid for those shoes, so we can pull them. Sweet, they got the don't payment. Don't let me forget because I will forget. I'll probably I forget. I also have one more on my phone that because I have my labels here, but I have one more on my phone that okay um, came while we were driving here. So okay, and then once upon a child, yeah, like I said, I had ten bucks free essentially. I mean, mm -hmm. I still have more ten, but I can go there like for the next two or three days and get yeah it again so that's a cool thing about selling i don't know if that's the same everywhere but here you get points for selling or buying so every time i go in there and sell like you know they've been giving me like 80 dollars a week almost with the tubs i'm bringing them so that's i think you get double points too so it's like 160 points that's almost oh. every two weeks so I you're getting you're getting this the money that they yeah, buy you from or right, buy from you the cash or trade and then you get a discount on the stuff yeah, you're gonna buy and so like Nice. I usually just save up all my points because so 300 points is ten dollars, but 400 points is 20 percent off. So wow! I, I used to save that and then just go and buy like 200 dollars worth of shoes and get like 40 bucks off. Yeah. But I really. It's now, harder to do I, that I don't nowadays. Buy, yeah, like I was showing Chris. I don't know if you got any footage. Like they're pricing Crocs now at like 11 dollars yeah. before they were like 350. So yeah. I found a few good things, but yeah, most of this stuff's overpriced. So I'll get it if it's free, but mm -hmm. not necessarily if I'm paying. So yeah, these are both play shoes. These ones were five fifty. These ones were seven fifty. So minus my ten bucks, I paid three dollars for the both of them. I think these will sell for probably thirty, maybe a tad bit more because they're a youth size. And then these probably twenty to twenty five, just being a water shoe. But yeah, I essentially am gonna turn three bucks into probably fifty. Sweet. So very excited about that. And yeah. That was it. Then we went to Chipotle, had a, yeah. <laughs> a lunch. Well, I had a burrito. You had a bowl. I thought I had a, I was trying to like have it be a f almost free day. Yeah. And I got my free birthday Starbucks and um, yeah, the Chipotle, I thought I had, not a birthday thing, but I thought I had enough points for free, but. It, it was like five I, points yeah. short. <laughs> I was like just barely short. So next time. <laughs> yeah. All right. You want to do the bin tall or the pull the sales? Or? Um, I'll let you pick. It's your birthday. Okay. Well, I just came over here to get this, so I guess this is what I picked. Uh, I'll just kind of go through it quickly. I don't want to run out of battery. We're down to three bars right now. Maybe we should pull the sails. I don't know. It's up to you. I, I don't want to run out of battery, though. <laughs> All right. Well, well, let's pull the sails. We're going to pivot. Time. Pull the sails in These case we run out. These are ones that had already came in. I don't have my labels in any sort of order today like normal, so I don't know. I'll just, I'll just, I don't know. <laughs> We're winging it. All right, AW. Is this in a haul? I think I said this was Billabong. It was not Billabong. Ooh. I think the brand is just called Bila or Billa or B I L A. Okay. I thought that was just like a short version of Billabong, like for the oh, tag, I see. but it's not. So, anyways, the buy sell trades did not take that. So I listed it. I got ten eighty eight, but just in a couple days. So yeah, stuff like this. It's not like super exciting. Mm -hmm. Not a cool brand. Um, I've just been listing it low when the buy sell trades don't take it to hopefully just move it quickly. Keep it moving. Sold quick though. That's yeah. good. So essentially a buck or two into 1088. It's not horrible. I'm just putting these up there on the other side. Okay, this 
Converse high tops. I just listed yesterday, they sold same day for $26 plus ship. These were from the bins like a week or two ago. Not too bad. Nice. And then this is going out to our viewer, Robin. So thank you so much, Robin. It is the Under Armour beanie with, uh, I forgot the name, <laughs> Freed Hardman University, maybe. Okay. <laughs> so I had to ask my Instagram, like I put a little question box and said, what is this? Because I honestly did not know. I tried to Google Lens. It wasn't really pulling anything up for mm -hmm. FHU. And yeah. In just a few minutes, I had six responses from all of you amazing people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I probably would have had more if I let it keep going, but yeah. So once I got it, that everybody agreed that that's what it was, I got it listed, and it, our viewer Robin saw it in my story, and then that her son is going scoop here, or oh. either going or go, going or goes there. So okay. she grabbed that for him. So thank you so much. Ten ninety five plus ship. That was my full list price. So awesome. Thank you. And yeah, that came from the bins. So. Thank you so much for that support. Yeah. All right, AG. been listed forever very glad to see them go um, the brown was the brown <laughs> the brand was just cloud wa walkers i don't know cloud walkers. i don't know why i bought these i don't have a cost of goods down I, i'm trying to remember because i think these were only like a dollar fifty or something that yeah. might be why i bought them but like yeah okay. they took probably well over a year to sell and they sold for 1676 plus shipping so not amazing, but to move them, would not pick them up again. Maybe at the bins, but yeah. price them a little lower next time if I do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. All right, A, B, this was another bins item where the Viso Tree did not take it. I really thought they'd take this one just because it was new at Tag, but it's Maurice's, like a kimono. Um, so I sold it for 14 plus ship on eBay, but just in a couple days, so. Not too bad. Yeah, I don't know if that was one of the, how they were saying they don't really like longer pieces mm. i don't know i'm trying to figure it out <laughs> i'm not cool <laughs> so i'm just like yeah all right cm you're pretty cool i'm not pretty you're pretty cool, cool. <laughs> all right cm old navy oh so there's another one by sell trade did not take old navy tank new attack i sold it for 1088 plus ship in a couple days so Imagine you go to the bins, buy a hundred things, and sell them all for ten eighty eight in just a couple of days. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Like, I mean, honestly, I'd already basically made back my money just from going to the buy sell trade, so it's really all profit, mm -hmm. just depending on how you look at it. All right, E A. That's it. E A. Both of those are in there. Okay. All right. Oh, hold on. I one the one on my phone I think is right here. Okay. But then the new one I don't know yet. So yeah, we might need to look that one up. Um, in fact, we, we will need to look it up because yeah. we don't know where it is. Uh, unless it's, I felt like those were a bigger set. Okay, these sold on the way here. Uh, some Keen Elsa boots. I sold them for $41.96 plus ship. I bought them for $15. So, yeah. Very nice. And then I'll switch places with you. Well, actually, I mean, you can, but I forgot this. Oh, oh can you reach it? I got them. These I showed on my Instagram story last night. Nike Hyper Dunks. Um, you guys, I'm sorry. Like, we just were not <laughs> expecting to do all this like this today. $100.76 plus shipping for these guys. Wow. Yeah. I bought awesome them sale. For 20 at a normal thrift store a while that. back. I don't know if you remember, but like probably several months ago, I had said these sold, but the buyer hadn't paid. So, yeah, that buyer never paid. And then they sold again. But I think they had sold to that buyer for like 90 So, I guess hey. it was worth the wait for the little bit extra. You got paid more for your trouble. Yeah. All right. Now we can switch sides. Switching Travis. sides. Travis Matthews. Just some basic black golf shorts uh, from the bin sold for $16.76 plus shipping. Shoe shell. Oh, this one just sold while we were at the bins today. The hoka boots from nice. the Nice. Yeah, they sold right. for more than I had expected them to. $79 with discount shipping. These are from wow. the bins. So yeah. I mean, that's like over six about a sixty dollar profit, I think. 55, 60 bucks. That's awesome. Yeah. Those are cool. I <laughs> they I think are. they're a little weird, but they're cool weird, yeah. you know? <laughs> And they're even cooler that you made that much money on them. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are. 
was another really good sale. These are Noble. So I got these, you know, before maybe I started talking about all the bicycle trade trading stuff mm. I was doing. So I got these maybe like two weeks ago or so at Play-Doh's. Um, yeah. So I don't, you know, it's hard to say the the actual cost of goods when you're doing the trading. So yeah. I think Play-Doh's only had these priced at 30 because I bought these in a pair of bogs that day. And I think I might have spent like maybe like 10 more dollars out of pocket after what they had given me, like for the both of them. Right. You know, so I think I would say maybe I have $10 out of my own pocket into them. Mm -hmm. And they sold for $54, $56 plus shipping really fast. So, yeah. Not too bad. All right. It's so funny because, yeah, we were at Plato's today. They had a pair of men's nobles at priced at 45 which, you know, if they gave me that much credit, I'd probably buy them yeah. too. But, yeah, they had those priced at 30 last week. I've gotten nobles from them for, like, $16, but then they had other ones in the store for, like, 90 bucks. So... <laughs> I don't know how they decide or what. <laughs> they say the computer decides, but it really seems like whoever's <laughs> just pricing that day decides. You fire that computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My last two were in the same box, so. Deep, a oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Deep breath, Kathy. These A6 <laughs> matte flex, so the wrestling shoes. I did pay $7.99 for these at a normal thrift. They sold for $23 plus shipping. And then these sketchers, I'm not really profiting much, maybe a dollar or two, but I bought them at a normal thrift for $10.99. I did not notice. Uh, they're in mostly good shape, but like one of the like toe area parts, it's almost like peeling apart from the knit, mm. which I showed in the photo. So someone offered 16 and I just cut my losses. Well, yeah. Really lost them, happy to just get my investment back. Right. There. So that was that. I guess we'll show you the bins haul now, and then... <laughs> Do you want to pull the big sale that yeah, just happened? Yeah, but how am I going to go find it really fast? We can take I... a little breather real quick. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> or we can okay. just chat while you're looking it up. I'll try to see if my... Ooh, someone just put in a bundle some John Fluvogs, which would also be a good sale if they bought them. <laughs> All right, uh, guys, if we get Washington. enough thumbs up, I think they'll buy it. No. no. Okay. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't F work that way. FH, it should be. FH. Sometimes the phone works in here. Sometimes it doesn't. I tried to call you the other day, and you're like, what, what, <laughs> what? <laughs> These are them. What did I pay for them? Uh, I paid 20 for these at a normal thrift store. Okay. They're uh, just a really nice cool Han shoe, like a super nice leather. I don't know. You know, I bought them probably thinking I could double my money at like 50, but when I looked them up, these retailed for over 300 and they're in really good shape. So yeah. I think I priced them over 100 and they finally sold. They took a little bit, but yeah, and $97 plus shipping. That's awesome. How do you beat that, you know? Yeah. Sweet. So that's everything that's sold. Everything that's sold. Do you just want, yeah, just, I guess? Yeah. We got, oh. We've got plenty, right? went down, yeah. Because <laughs> I was sucking so fast and not breathing. <laughs> okay, I need a coffee break. Coffee break. All right. I'm going to just go through it quick. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just toss it in here for now and then I'll just put it back after. Okay. Yeah, most of it, I don't think there's anything super amazing today. Spoiler. Yeah. But yeah, we only spent... Fifty dollars and twelve cents, and yeah, I mean I see that back almost in just like these Sanitas. So right as I walked in, I pretty much found these couple pairs of shoes. So yeah, it was nice. weird. Like they did one rotation yeah. fairly soon after we got there, yeah. and then there was it was like forty five minutes yeah. or nothing where there they didn't rotate at all, right. and then we were about to head out and they rotated twice. So right. and then we didn't get a look through them all. Yeah, that, that was, was a, a bummer. bummer. Yeah, because normally I've kind of figured out their system, at least in Colorado Springs, where they stop, they have like their whole employee break between like 4 to 4.30 or so, yeah. but like we were there earlier than that and they just were not doing it today. So. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so these Sanitas are in really good shape. Those will probably be 30 to 40. And then these are Kuru, not in amazing shape, but not horrible either. Um, in better shape. These are probably 50, I want to say probably 30 or so on those. Yeah. So that has our money back, I would say, for this whole haul. Okay. And then these are just some, you know, little sass. Um, probably 20 to 30 on those. Plain Jane loafers. Um, Piss wants to ruin my life. <laughs> I birthday. bought Kathy a birthday present. Look at that, guys. <laughs> She's never seen it. It was there. It's in great shape. I mean, how much would this have cost? How much did that cost I us? I think they do the DVDs separately. It was 69 cents. 69 cents. What else did you get? 
Um, I got the kids a boomerang. <laughs> oh, no, that was it, though. Didn't you have another? Oh, your VHS. Oh, yeah, I got a, a VHS head cleaner. But I feel like she charged that as just mixed pounds. Okay. okay. So, yeah, that was probably 69 cents. But okay. we don't have a DVD player, do we? I mean, I got a PlayStation that'll play it. Yeah. I'll find a way. I'll I will. That play. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll even watch the deleted scenes with the with the octopus. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, next time, guys. If anybody has Mary Kate and Ashley movies, please our PO box is in we're the gonna description. Get so, please don't send any Mary Kate and Ashley movies. Yep. But s- send the comments. Let Kathy know she has to see Goonies, and I know she's gonna hate it. I know yes. she is. <laughs> Ah, this we just grabbed because it was new. I think Chris looked it up and was saying... Oh, we're almost done, bud. <laughs> was saying um, $9, like, free shipping, so... Yeah. A ton, but... Yeah, not, not too bad. And if it doesn't sell, it's an eighth-inch yeah. bit. That's a very... I, I could use it if it, you know... And then this I found... I uh, need to wipe it. It has something gross here. <laughs> but it's... I don't even know. A dry bar soap holder, which I looked this up, and there's only, like, two listed, and there's a few sold, so... Okay. $14 free shipping, though, was kind of the going rate. So that's probably about $8 or so plus shipping, I would say. Which isn't bad for an yeah, easy... Yeah, a little hard goods, like easy that. bubble mailer. Good to go. Um, I feel like you thought... Think that. It is weird, but these are just a pair of... U- they're used, but smart wool socks. Smart. I don't know... Oh, I didn't know they were them. smart wool. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this is probably like a $20 pair of socks when you first buy them. <laughs> they don't look in too bad shape considering they're smart wool. I don't know. I, I don't think you're really supposed to sell used socks. I know some people have, so I might try to see if I can. Otherwise, I'm perfectly happy to wear these under some boots this winter. Yeah. Uh, I think I just got these to try on. They're just Joe's jeans, but if they don't fit, I'll list them. They don't, they're not in amazing shape. Oh. This I just got because it was new. I don't think it'll sell for a ton. I doubt by sell trade will take it, but if I'm taking a bin, I might as well include it. You just never know. Right. Um, if it does not sell to buy sell trade, I'll probably list it for like 20 bucks. With a retail of 40, made in Nepal, 100% cotton. I don't know. Okay. These, I've never sold dresses of Tommy Bahama, but these are 100% linen dresses. Okay. So they seem to be in good shape. I will try them up by sell trade. If not, I'm sure these are a minimum of 20, maybe like 30 bucks. Just Each? Being, yeah, I would say just being a full dress in yeah. linen. You know, usually linen pieces, regardless of the brand, you can get like 30 They bucks. do pretty well. Yeah. Uh, these are American Eagle. I don't know if they took the shorts. <laughs> I just keep getting it. You know, these don't cost a whole lot, and I can usually get 15 to 20 on my own. So right. Play-Dohs and stuff doesn't take those. Yeah. I did pull out the tag because it said 2018 so they are a little bit older all right uh, i feel like these are things that they would like hot play-dohs you know i'm okay if i have to list them this is just pack sun but it's like a nice hooded just like a thin denim yeah, hoodie kind of sure. thing um it has bleach stains and i'm still gonna put it in there because <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna button it up you can't really see them as much through the they're only on the side, inside which i honestly think some people would like it like that anyways um, this is too, this is basic, so I'm gonna put it in the bin for them, but they might not take it, it's just early button up. Okay. Yeah, I feel like some guy just donated all their skater surfer brands. <laughs> Volcom button up. Volcom. Um, this is that <laughs> brand I've found the last couple times. This is, I like the print. RVCA. Like, yeah, they took that hot, is this, is this just the lighting in there? The like, lighting is like a bleach stain on this now. But yeah, the lighting is kind of weird in here. Um, this is a very dark, like corner, because <laughs> our lights only go to here. So, uh, so hopefully they take that. Yeah, they took the hat today of that brand. Um, this is it has a little bit of wash wear. So they, you remember I found a gray one the other week, with LLB. Right. Just yeah. A thick one. I said I was going to list that on my own. I ended up taking there just because it was basic. They did take it at one of those stores. Mm-hmm. This one, though, has a little bit more wash wear, so I'm going to try it with them, but I'm okay if I list it probably 20 bucks or so. Okay. Um, this is Bella Bong, just men's button up. Palm trees. Palm trees. Um, I think about these for me. <laughs> They're just that Cuddle Does brand, but like some cat PJ pants. I can't have an actual cat. I'll just have some on my PJ pants. Some cat PJ. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I heard. <laughs> uh, Carter's for once upon a child. We're almost done. You guys want to say hi? Happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> We uh we bribed them with a cake pop, and they're not holding up there into the bargain. <laughs> They've already got the payment. <laughs> We're almost done. Go go back and and do your origamis. Uh, 
this is fresh produce. I've never sold it before. I did look it up just because, I don't know, I never sold it before. <laughs> uh, I think if I have to end up selling that, it's probably like 20 bucks. Okay. This I think I just got for any Christmas party we have to go to because I don't have any like Christmas sweaters. It's not ugly Christmas. It's <laughs> yeah. Christmassy sweater. Classy Christmas yeah. sweater. Uh, this is for one spawn a child. This is a bigger kid size. I've sold this exact flannel to them in like a boys eight recently mm. and they took it. So uh, these, I'll, I don't know. I want to list them on my own, but then I don't because they're basic, but it's mountain khakis. Mm. Like a nice performance pant. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the buy sell trade would take those. I could probably get close to 30 bucks on those on my own. So I'm not sure. Uh, this is just a Walmart shirt, but new a tag for Once Upon a Child. These are Carter's for Once Upon a Child. This is Chico's. I didn't think this was a very cute print, but it feels almost like um, like a stretchy, quick dry shirt, which is kind of weird, so. Okay, what's the pattern? I don't know. <laughs> this is see. like nothing really. I wonder if they're states. <laughs> No, I don't know. So, I mean, it has a cute little ruffle sleeve. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to end up listing that, but I'll try it at Pawn Cheapskate first. See, this I think is, well, obviously Play-Dohs would not take this brand, but I don't know what Uptown Cheapskate necessarily is looking for, but this is like a longer tunic shirt. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, this is Logo Lounge. Or, yeah. So I'll try it at Uptown Cheapskate. Otherwise, probably 15 bucks or something on my own. Um... This is just a onesie for Once Upon a Child. It's like unbranded. This is for Once Upon a Child. It's not, if this was Patagonia. I was gonna say it's not a Patagonia, no, huh? It's just SO, which I think is like Kohl's or something. Okay. Um, Carter's Once Upon a Child. Carter's Once Upon a Child. This is for our son Connor, just the Under Armour shirt. Okay. This I might list on my own. It's Mustard Pie, which is a kid's brand I've done okay with in the past. I think I can probably get at least 15 bucks for this. It's hmm. just kind of what I'm good with listing on my own. But yeah, I'm sure Once Upon a Child will take that too. Sometimes kid clothing lines names are just so weird. <laughs> like Mustard Pie. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, this is REI, just a men's button up. This last rotation, I felt like I hadn't gotten a lot in that last bin before we left. There mm -hmm. was some Torrid in there and then these a bunch of men's like button ups, which I ended up throwing a lot back, but I grabbed a few just because I felt like I needed to make my time more worth it. And because they said, you know, they were looking for men's last week. So hopefully they still are. I'm yeah. going to take some of these. I'm okay if I have to list them though. I'd probably get like 15 about on that. Um, these are men's Bowden, like a... F Men's I think they're a literal flannel. I think they're men's. Is that how you would buy in your pants? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I thought of Bowdoin as a kids brand. Is it? They have adult. Oh, okay. Oh, it's missing a button. Oh. Those might be garbage. Missing a button. I mean, I might just list them, but then they'd be hardly anything. I think I just got this to wear for myself. It's like an unbranded shirt. This is that Lane Bryant like bra line, but this is like a shapewear. Okay. I never know how you say that. Kachik, Kachik. Yeah. So, it's like a slimmer thing. Uh, I need to wash, but that's just dust. Uh, these I got because there was two of them, so if the buy sell trade doesn't take them, I'll just list them as a bundle. I'm pretty sure these are women's champion little shorts. Both yeah. size small, so I bet I could get like 20 bucks for the bundle, which they didn't weigh a whole lot. I hope the buy sell trade will take them though. More Carters. For Once Upon a Child. <laughs> uh, this is Kendall and Kylie, which I've never done well with this brand, but I thought this was an okay piece. It's a kimono and it had the belt and everything. Okay. So I'm going to try that up. I still trade first. They may or may not take it. I've seen that brand at both stores, but uh, this is just an REI like women's rash guard. Mm. I don't know if they take rash guards, so I'll try it. <laughs> Uh, this was one of those men's button-ups. It's just Columbia. It seems like an older tag, but I was showing Chris today. We were in Play-Dohs and like, you know, they say two to three year window. Yeah. But there was like an Athleta jacket that was from 2014. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I think they also look over the, the day. Yeah. They like the brand. If they lot. like, like it. I think Athleta is one of their top favorite brands or whatever. Mm. Or it's been on the shelf for that yeah. long. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was thinking about trying this on. I don't, the retail on this says 69. I have no idea. I've never sold this brand. New tag. Tail. Let me see. It's very like yeah. sheery. So it'd be just like over another tank or something. 
but I have no idea what that would sell for if I listed it. This is Carter's for Once Upon a Child. This was Marmot. Oh, you found a Marmot. Yeah. Men's button up. I mean, I don't know if it's like a little faded or just, that's just because it's gray. Right. Uh, this is a Walmart shirt for Once Upon a Child. I just Ooh. thought it was so fun. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, somebody needs that for their little girl for some special event. I don't know. <laughs> what event? <laughs> yeah. uh, this is torrid, like a, I don't know, just like a little plaid blouse. Okay. Uh, this I got because it was new at Tag. It's Victoria's Secret pink bra. And more torrid. This one's just a tank. I'll probably take all these torrids to buy, sell, trade first. Hopefully they take them. I do like selling toward, but I would rather find shoes to list from right. these buy sell trade stores. This one's very basic, but hopefully they take it. If not, I'll list that. But yeah. That was it, other than Chris's VHS that we bought for. Oh. I just. Oh, well, now it's ripping open. <laughs> I just got this because it was new. I figured like five to ten bucks for an yeah. easy listing, but just some um, wrist guards for hockey. Yeah, and this is just a. A head cleaner for VHS player. Because you have a little VCR TV thing. Yeah, we have a TV v, uh, VCR combo, and I think that's just a good thing to have to, to clean your heads, which is a thing you have to do, I guess. <laughs> I've never done it. <laughs> We've been, we haven't had VHS in quite a while, but yeah, that's Kathy's big birthday adventure. Yep. <laughs> Did you have fun? Uh, a little. I, I, mean, I, would <laughs> I think like I drove her crazy. crazy. <laughs> I would like to stay at the bins longer, but yeah, I like yeah. try to put too much stuff in one day. So. Yeah. Well, we did get a lot done. This is, we're not packing this up today. It is after five. Post office is closed, but it's going to go out tomorrow, right? Yeah. So <laughs> the boys are ready to go. <laughs> we're going to go to get some burgers and that's going to be it. We'll see you guys on the live tonight. Thank you so much for the support and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.